It is extremely important to me that the stories we share are authentic and that we strive to tell both perspectives. I've been a local to this remarkable island three times and a tourist too many times to count. Our home year holiday celebrates Aruba. There's a reason why Arubans are so patriotic and there's a reason why visitors keep coming back. Let's dive into the elements that makes Aruba our home and the perfect holiday. Hi everyone, welcome to Our Home, Your Holiday. Today we are hitting the road and talking all things traffic. When it comes to traffic, we of course need to mention Aruba's roundabouts. Essentially, this island is one roundy island. So let's find out from experts the best way to navigate roundabouts when approaching them. And we find out the one roundabout on this island that causes the most accidents. So the next time you approach it, be extra cautious. Across the entire island of Aruba, there are 83 roundabouts and one traffic light. Thomas Ruiz is knowledgeable about our roads. In addition to being a former police officer, he is also the secretary of the Association for the Driving School on the island, and he is the founder of the commission reporting to the Minister of Justice on all things related to traffic safety. Thomas and his team also do research on Aruba's traffic. It turns out one of the main reasons we have so many roundabouts is because they have been proven to be safer than traffic lights. Um, if you see the numbers, uh, we have better results with roundabouts than uh, traffic lights. Uh, and I mean um, the numbers of the accidents over here. But we still see that a lot of people don't know what uh, the rules is about the, the roundabout. And we have different kind of roundabout over here in the, in, in the whole island. Let's hop in the car and demo some driving tips according to Thomas. First of all, drivers are legally supposed to approach a roundabout at about 30 to 40 kilometers, but Thomas recommends 20 kilometers to be even more cautious. Give the right of way, only enter the roundabout if you see there is enough time for you to merge. Drivers also want to be aware of the number of lanes when it comes to the roundabout you are approaching. Aruba has one, two, and three lane roundabouts. With all that in mind though, don't forget about your turning signal. The blinker rules, the law says that you have to put the blinker when you approach your exit. So if you exit the first um, exit, then you can uh, already uh, put your blinker on. If it's not, then you don't put your blinker on. Wait till you approach your exit, then you put your blinker. Here is a theory on why roundabouts are safer than traffic lights on this island. If you see a roundabout, you can go straight. In the traffic light, you can go straight. The people that have hurry, it's the, it's the kind of culture here for you. Everybody's late, everybody uh, have hurry, and they want to, to go as fast and as quickly as possible to their destination. And that make uh, also a dangerous situation in a traffic uh, intersection with traffic lights. We've said it before, you can find roundabouts all over the island. There are more than 80 of them, but this one you see right in front of the airport is one in particular that both locals and tourists need to be extra careful around. Most roundabout with most accident is the roundabout in front of the airport. It's the, it's the biggest one, the three lane um, roundabout. We call it a two roundabout. And that's the first one but you, you get when you come on the island. And if you don't know the rule, you can get in trouble over there. Car rental companies and local drivers can play a part in improving the safety at the multi-lane roundabout right by the airport. I want to ask also the car rentals to, to, to inform in, in one way or other the, the tourists that, that rent their car about the first roundabout that, that, that they encounter in front of the uh, airport so they can be uh, more careful. Okay, and is there something that the locals can do um, at that particular roundabout? Because there are so many, um, there are so many tourists that come out of there. Do you think maybe local drivers can be a little bit more courteous? Yes, I think that's uh, uh, one other thing that they can do. Or there is also a lot of other road that they can take to uh, get on their destination. For example, they can the, the, the people of San Nicolas can take the road of the Santa Cruz, Piedra Plat, Paradera, etc. There's not everybody has to come to the to the roundabout uh, in front of the 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 um, airport. 
continuing on the topic of Aruba's roundabouts, we head over to the Department of Public Works, who is in charge of designing and constructing the island's roads. Swinda Dykoff is a civil engineer for more than 25 years at DOW, where her main task revolves around optimizing the road infrastructure of this one happy island. Aside from safety, there are other reasons why Aruba has so many roundabouts. Mostly we decide to go to roundabouts because of the cost. Let's start with that. Um, if you compare a roundabout through uh, traffic lights, um, it, uh, in the beginning the roundabout is expensive, but in two to three years um, it's almost the same price that we have to pay for maintenance of uh, traffic lights. Swinda says Aruba experiences a number of power outages every year. Whenever this occurs, it causes major concern on our roads. And the second one is that is, uh, there's some studies that was done in uh, Europe, mostly in Holland, that we have a lot of roundabouts, and they demonstrate that a roundabout is more safer than a traffic light. Why? Um, for a rubric census, um, we have, uh, we used to have, I think, 14 cross intersections with traffic lights, but we have problems with electricity. And when electricity goes out, almost those lights are not working, and then we have the problem because it seems that nobody knows the traffic rules if the traffic lights are not working. The majority of the island's tourists come from North America, where roundabouts aren't as common, but in other parts of the world, such as Europe, drivers often encounter them. It's very more common um, in Europe. There you have it more. Um, United States don't have a lot of roundabouts, and if they have in the United States, it's more the single one. We have, I think, three to four different kinds of roundabouts here. Since Swinda mentioned European roundabouts, let's travel all the way to Italy to get a first-hand look. If you can't believe it, the plan to do a story on Aruba's roundabouts has been in the works for quite some time now, to the point where while I was on vacation in Italy back in March, I actually filmed some footage of a roundabout there, thinking I'd use it for this story. Like Swinda said, roundabouts are common within European countries. This is one of them I encountered in Sorrento's main square. As we know, Aruba uses a lot of roundabouts and they do so also in Europe which isn't surprising. What surprised me was this very small roundabout right here which I first thought was a potted plant is actually directing traffic four ways in this very busy city center in Sorrento. There you have it, an example of a roundabout in Europe. Let's head back over to Aruba. Experts on the island's roads agree the roundabout by the airport is a tricky one. The most complicated roundabout is in front of the airport. So if you're coming out of the airport, you confront it right away with it. But if you can drive that one, you can drive any roundabout on the island. Thomas Ruiz from the Driving School Association and Swinda from DOW both recommend car rental companies who hand over vehicles to visitors of this island to prepare them about Aruba's roundabouts. Mostly I think if um, the people that are renting those cars can make some clips. Just clips to show, hey, we have different kinds of roundabouts on the island and this is how to drive it. So the people know if you have that and you show them at the beginning, so you are confronted that I report that, I think most people are going to be feel more comfortable driving it. But what I see a lot of tourists after, say, a couple of days on the island, they drive it like a local. Besides for the approximate 83 roundabouts on the island of Aruba, there is something else that's pretty unique about our roads. On any given day, you will find people yielding and giving way because we do have pretty courteous drivers. While venturing on Aruba's roads, you will see this a lot. One at a time and one by one, drivers will let others through so everyone can keep up with the flow of traffic. Giving other drivers a chance to head in the direction they need to go happens quite often on this small island. One of the drivers I spoke with said it best. Since the island is small and has so many cars, everyone needs to participate in the traffic and do their part. Generally speaking, many, many drivers on the island don't mind giving way and letting other drivers go first. And that's largely thanks to people being courteous with one another. Let's check in with some of the drivers on Aruba to see how they feel about sharing these roads. 
we allow other people to get in front of us and it's no hazard. Maybe you're in a more hurry than I am. So it doesn't matter if you cross in front of me, I'll just let you through. Well, no, only in the morning sometimes, but many times you don't have any problem with that. Some people let you pass, give you a chance to go. Because I think they've all been in that situation where they really have to go and they, they let other people pass. And I'm like, yeah, I've been in that situation. I'm going to let you pass, you know? They try to be nice to each other. You have to be cor um, um, courteous to be, to let people let you by. So if you stand, have eye contact, ask for permission to go, they let you go. You just, you, you just, you, you just cross without um, eye contact. That's not, uh, that's not right. So that's like an unspoken rule, but as long you as you have do to that. Uh, participate in the traffic. Basically, we know everybody here. So maybe I know you from somewhere. I've seen you on TV, hey, let you through. That's the answer. So people need to be more curious. So um, we live on a small island. So to let people buy, you know, be nice, be kind, you know, let people drive. And it's working. If you if you give chances, it works. If you are, if, if you are focused, I get to get there. You won't get there. So you have to be courteous and let people go by, and you know, have a relaxed state of mind, so you can uh, survive this trip. According to Liliana Rasmain, a spokesperson for the police, she says we used to have even more courteous drivers on the roads of Aruba, but that has since changed slightly. Yes, we have them till now, but um, in the past. That was more likely of an Arubian. We given each other chances on the road, but nowadays everybody is in a fast lane. Uh, they are in a hurry, so they sometimes they didn't even are. They are on their phone, and they don't pay attention that they have to be give courtesy of an, an other driver to other drivers. For such a small island, Aruba has a lot of cars. Luckily for us, one of Aruba's charms is the fact that, generally speaking, we have pretty courteous drivers. So far, we got some valuable roundabout driving tips from Thomas. We also spoke with Swinda, who is an expert when it comes to the infrastructure of the roads in Aruba and its roundabouts. But we can't end this on the road episode without speaking to the police specifically on the circular lanes. Maureen Dirks has been with the police force for 35 years. She is currently the chief of the traffic department for the police. She shared valuable insights on the rules of the roads, especially when it comes to roundabouts, with the Aruba Police Enforcement spokesperson Liliana Rasmain, which she shares with us. Yes, when you come to roundabout, the basic rule is when you are um, approaching a roundabout, you will see the traffic signs that say that you have to slow down. You, um, you, when you are on the highway, you um, can the speed limit is 80. Then you, when you approach the roundabout, you have to begin to slow from 80 to 60. You will see this traffic um, sign from 60 to 40. And when you reach a roundabout, you stop. And when you um, drive up on the roundabout, if you exit, then you have to use the sign light. Not when you're in the roundabout. This you don't put the sign light on your left side. When you, you use it only when you exit the roundabout. That's the basic rule. It's best, very simple, but you see some, um, basically everybody doing the sign light on the left side, but you don't have to do it. Only when you exit a roundabout. Members of the police force say there's something else very important to remember. While inside the roundabout and you realize you are in the wrong lane, do not change lanes. Yes, when you are in a roundabout, don't change lane. Just keep on in the roundabout and you will eventually come on the right lane. Just um, don't um, go over the bumps. When you see um, some people doing that, they, they get panic on the, um, run on the roundabout and they will change lane. No, just keep, don't change lane. Just keep in the roundabout and it will, you will go on the right um, lane that you have to be. We've heard from Liliana on the general laws when it comes to a roundabout. Let's put it into practice. I had a conversation with Maureen, who is currently the chief of the traffic department. She's been with the police force for 35 years, and she gave me some general rules of thumb when it comes to Aruba's roundabouts. Let's go. 
We are coming off of the highway, so you're going 80 kilometers an hour. You need to reduce your speed to 60 and then eventually to 40 kilometers an hour. And then you take a look to your left to see if you have enough time to go. And of course you're giving the right of way. Double check and you go. You don't need to signal when you enter a roundabout because the roundabout is actually part of the road. You do need to signal though when you're exiting the roundabout. Something else to remember, if you find yourself inside the roundabout that you've taken the wrong lane, do not switch lanes in the middle. You have to take the full circle, exit, and then enter once again. And that is of course to eliminate any sort of traffic accidents. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed this very special edition of On the Road in Aruba. I'm your host, Yentolu, signing off in my car. We'll see you next time.